shocked I found this at the Goodwill bins. Made thousands at the Goodwill bins. <laughs> So we're at the Goodwill bins and we're already starting off with sad stuffed animals. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, look at this one. Oh my gosh, this is awful. Ooh, here's Al. He's from Winnie the Pooh. I might look him up. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I want to, but I, have, I can't. Look at this moon. This is great. They're all like vintage. Oh, I remember those faces. They're all vintage stuffed animals, which I just can't. I can't. I want to. Oh, it's on. What's his face? Snuggle. I want to save them, but I can't. Does this one talk? Sometimes there were ones that talked. Uh oh. Do you remember these? This is a stuffed bear backpack. I actually had one, and they open up that way. Oh, he's not too old. Oh gosh. <gasps> Care Bear. Oh, we're gonna save him. He's definitely an 80s bear. I can use him for my party. He's kinda, so we'll keep him. Peppa Pig. Hi, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Scary clown. Let's see. Batman Forever. Chris O'Donnell. Uh, sponge. More CDs. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh my gosh, that's an Oral B Sesame Street Cookie Monster toothbrush. What is the resale value on this? I don't know, but this will cost me like five cents, so that's fun. Fancy bears. So there's some vintage stuff. I'm hoping when they bring out the new bin, there's a lot more. We can hope. What's this? Ted's voice. <laughs> Chris, Kate, Jess, 1986. You know what, we're gonna buy this and then just listen to it and see what's on it. So for me, filming while I'm looking through the clothing is pretty much impossible because I need two hands. I don't wear a chest mount because it would just be like inside the bin. You wouldn't see anything and it would be horrible for those that have motion sickness. Clothing has been pretty sparse for me today. I always have to find one food item in case I get hungry here. And today the winner is the 100% Peanuts Creamy from Crazy Richard. Shake well and enjoy. Oh, it's still good. That's by May 22nd, 2022. So if I get hungry here, I know where to go to. Get some peanut butter. Um, and a sad day it's been today. We found some sad animals, but that pretty much is about it. There's lots of stuff, just like this. The Briar Game of Horses. Oh, it's not in there, of course. But just nothing crazy that, you know, I can make thousands of dollars on in five minutes. That'd be something. What's this for? Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. Someone drew the treasure cat and the caterpillar. <laughs> Oh, I can't feel bad for it. It was $1.99 at Goodwill. I guess no one wanted it. Oh, they tried their hardest. It's actually not a bad treasure cat. Actually. Actually. Let's see. Are there any good 80s records? Percy Faith. Christmas Carols. Christmas. The Blue Ridge Quartet. Get on that glory train. Andy Griffith? Oh, Ken Griffin. <laughs> Jim Reeves. These are all the classics. It's Chet. Jim Neighbors. Why don't you be my neighbor? I think these are these are kind of like the bicentennial. You always find these kind of records whenever you go. Now this is how you want to market yourself: going places with the places. <laughs> That's probably an amazing record. So we have a complete blast from the past here. We have the Tupperware uh, pour. I used to love like that noise that it would make when you would open it. Um, this was probably before the BPA, so I don't know if this is good to drink out of. I'm sure there's probably a way that you could clean it and soak it. I do love these. I'm gonna have to Google it before I decide if I'm gonna buy it or not. This just brings back so many memories of childhood. Ugh, I don't know why I love that. <laughs> but I do. We'll have to see. I can put my lemon water in there. But yep, we are still waiting for the bins to 
change out and see what we can find. Silent night. Holy night. There's no silence at the bins, that's for sure. Final fling before the ring. So when the shirts came out in front of me, they look like some like vintage-y ones. So I just grabbed them. I haven't looked at them yet. I don't know if they are vintage. What is this, Piranha? Piranha Joe, Cayman Islands. This is Vans, but I don't think that's old. Uh, I did find an Alice shirt, so I'm excited about that. I recognized her right away. Uh, what is this, Beer Company? I may have done, may not have been what I thought. Oh, Panama Jack. There was a Pokemon shirt in here, so we'll save that to see what that was for. What's this? Registered trademark of something. I don't know what. <laughs> Uh, maybe they weren't as good. Got milk stout. Uh, here. This is a Dell. I have no idea. This has a website, so this is an old. Oh, it's printed in USA. So this is a Shintimoni Sun Monster. Ni 1909. <laughs> 1998? 1999? Isn't that Pokemon? I have to look that up. I'm not up to date on my Pokemon. -ish. Oh, this is the Alice. We'll save that for last. Oh my gosh, it's a long sleeve. I'm excited. And we have, I almost said Snoopy. This is uh, Scooby Doo. That's a little too worn for me. Uh, what's this guy? We have a Disney Christmas shirt. That's a large. That's not bad. We have a Hello Kitty. Let's see if my cousin can fit that. Uh, I don't know if that's her style. All right, let's check out this Alice. <gasps> oh my goodness, this trip was worth it. It's a medium, it's a long sleeve. Oh, this is so fun. There's a hole, but who cares? It looks like it's a little kid's. Oh, I think I'll be able to wear it. I have to buy it. How often do I find an Alice t-shirt here at the bins? Hardly ever. Wasn't bad, found some fun things. Some stuff for my 80s party and um, perhaps a decent uh, fake Pokemon shirt. I'll have to look that up. I did find that on Worth Point, so we'll have to see what it's First, let's talk about my great vintage sweatshirt. Moose Watchers Club Yellowstone. Love it. I uh, did not find it in the bins. Wouldn't that be amazing? But yes, another day at the bins. Now, bins make for great YouTube videos because many people do not have Goodwill bins in their area or they just do not want to be in that close proximity with people. So they live uh, virtually or vicariously through those that go to the bins. Now, I, I don't think, I cannot recall ever having a bins day where, you know, I've made a hundred bucks in 15 minutes at the bins. Uh, oh wait the my pet monster doll that was maybe around eighty dollars or a hundred dollars but i still have him <laughs> but you know in in the world of reselling and youtube videos that's what draws people in where they are told that they can make x amount of money in a very short amount of time for those that frequent the bins you will see that it is not a 10 minutes in find something and then leave it is an all day, several hours of fare, especially when the bins are being rotated, you know, on a, a regular schedule. And that's what makes the bins fun. Can you source at the bins? Yes. Do people source strictly at the bins? Yes. Do I do that? No. I go to the bins because it is fun. It provides for a fun video. And I do find things that I can use and that I can sell. Today's adventure, again, was more so, I guess, just prepping me for my 80s party that I'm going to have. So what did I find? Well, we started off with something sad. I can't, that, it's like I, the whole bin was full with these poor guys. Fortunately, I did see another woman pick up some of the other vintage stuffed animals thank you and give them a home i only bought this this poor poor puppy he can go with the bulldogs that i had purchased he's very very cute and i didn't want to leave him there you know his hair is a little matted he's a little worn but he has definitely been uh well loved so he came home with me 
And other plush, we got the Vintage Care Bears. I believe this is Tender Heart. He is a little bit uh, dirty, so I will put him um, in the washer, the washing machine and clean him. And he will be perfect for my 80s party. I do have my Care Bears from the 80s, but it'll be nice to have these additional items to set out. These two uh, bins of stuffed animals, I really would have liked to have been there when they first wheeled them out because I have a feeling that there were probably some really good vintage stuffed animals in the bins. If a Care Bear is left, you know that it must have been pretty good. He even has his little hair. So yes, Care Bear stare. Got those. In the world of clothing, so I did pick up this it's not Pokemon, it is a parody of Pokemon. Um, they're called Sun Monsters, and what actually happens is this brand, Del Sol, you wear this out in the sun, and this changes colors, or it adds some colors. One of these sold in 2020 for $15. Not bad, considering I paid, I don't even know if I paid a dollar for the shirt. The only issue with this is this is a, most likely a child's, it's a child's, yeah, a youth medium. Why is that an issue? Well, because in the world of selling shirts, vintage shirts, retro shirts, normally the larger the size, the better. So larges, extra larges, etc. They sell um, at a better pace versus smaller sizes. Now, I can't fit those larges and extra larges, so the smaller sizes work well for me, but uh, to get you know your most bang for your buck in terms of reselling vintage clothing, the larger the size, the better, you know, the better it is. So I picked that up anyway. I'll just take it to the flea market. I don't, I, f I would probably have to test the colors to see if they would work, and then if I put it online, I. Maybe could get 10 to $15 for it. And then we found this. So we have an Alice in Wonderland long sleeve. I think this is the first Alice shirt I found at the bins. Um, this is just made by Disney. It's not old. It is a medium, so I should be able to fit it. Uh, great find for me. As long as it's not one of those like crop shirts. I don't get why that they're so popular. But yes, Alice, a lot of the other shirts that I grabbed, they're, they weren't, they're, they're not anything. To wear yourself, it's fine. In the reselling vintage shirt market, no. Because like everything else, not all, you know, vintage t-shirts are on that high echelon for reselling. And I think that's where a lot of resellers they need to remember just because something is vintage doesn't mean it's worth you know lots of money same as with postcards just because a postcard is from 1962 doesn't mean you can sell it for 10 or 15 20 bucks i um, mean you have your tiers now for your own use your own wearing your own scrapbooks your own collection is perfect but if you are looking to resell you need to know that just because something is old doesn't mean it's gold. <laughs> All right, what else did we grab? Oh no, there goes my cassette tape. So I did purchase this. I'm not going to add it onto this video because I'm going to listen to it first and see if it is anything fun. But this is a cassette tape. One side it says Ted's voice and the other side it says Chris, Katie, and Jess. 1986. So we are going to pop this bad boy, I'm going to pop this into my vintage Fisher Price cassette player. I think I have to buy batteries for it <laughs> and see what is on here. I am hoping that it's like kids talking about fun things or cartoons and if it is worthy then perhaps I'll make a video with just this because how fun would that be? Maybe it's Ted singing. I have no idea but we're going to find out or I'm going to find out and if it's good I'll let you know. Now what else did I buy? There were a lot of um, stationery in the one bin and I picked up a few things. So we have these, uh, is this Hallmark? Yes it is Hallmark. You have Hallmark Peanuts Mate and it is just a little have two of them it's a little folder well it's, it's paper 
So you have Snoopy and Woodstock at the bottom. I was hoping there'd be like a whole stack of vintage stationery, but there wasn't, but it was still fun to be able to find these and rescue them now. Again, we're shopping for my 80s party here. I came up, I'm sure this is not the first time this has been done, but I didn't look it up, I just thought of it in my head, with the brilliant idea of making my own party garland with VHS um, covers. So we have an American Tale with Feifel somewhere out there. The Dark Crystal, now, I watched this as a kid and I was never a fan. It was almost like I was to, like made to watch it. Like a relative like didn't, like you need to watch this, it's great. And I really didn't like it. But uh, this memory is vivid, so I got that one. And then, of course, we have E.T. Phone Home, Elliot, Reese's Pieces, my favorite candy. So these didn't have, much like the, the DVDs and the CDs that do not have the actual media in them, these did not have them either. So I thought what I could do is make garland and I'm going to poke a little hole, you know, through the top and then string, string, and so have a variety of vintage VHS tape holders be garland for the 80s birthday party. So now I have even more of a reason to go to Goodwill Bins more to find those. Now watch, because I want them, I probably will not be able to find them at all. <laughs> Can you imagine months there are no VHS tapes at the bins? If that happens, it is my fault. But uh, yeah, so what did I buy for reselling? Well, I guess that fake Pokemon, the parody Pokemon shirt. Otherwise, nothing. I was there for maybe three hours, I think. And they rotated the bins pretty constant. You know, buying shoes and buying clothing at this bins location, there's a lot of competition. I've said it before, there are people that are there all day. They know their brands, they know their stuff, they have a market that it goes right to, so they are always on the hunt and, you know, really, really into it. Me, I go there for more of the adventure, the fun of it, and just to see what I can find because I have found some amazing stuff, fun stuff, at the bins. You know, have I found that item that's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars to resell there? No. Have I heard about those kind of items? Yes. Maybe not thousands, but a couple hundreds I've heard of people finding those kind of items at the bins. And I think it's just a matter of time before I find something that I do not care about, that I do not want, but that I see a monetary value in, not this guy, this guy's all sentimental sadness here, and I can do the quick flip and make some money on it. And then I will let you know, shocked I found this at the Goodwill bins. Made thousands at the Goodwill bins. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm poking fun. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have my VHS garland, which I'm excited to put together. We found the Alice shirt, we rescued the sad plush, and then, I will see what is on this cassette tape, and if it is good, then you will see a video. If it is not good, then, well, I'll put it out at the flea market and someone else can have the joy of listening to it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you are off to your bins, may you find something in that deep blue plastic sea that you can rescue, resell, keep for yourself, save, add to your collection, and most of all, just have fun on that thrifting adventure. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time.